Ladies, stop hiding. Come on, seriously, where are you? You know, I've always wondered why is it that the tech industry is male dominated, the stock market industry is male dominated. Have you ever wondered why? In this video, we will discuss why this problem persists and will there be any improvement for women to involve in the cryptocurrency and blockchain network as a whole. Now, let's get right into it. Well, you know what I don't love? What? Not knowing where to put my money for retirement. There are just too many options. 401ks, IRAs, savings. It's so confusing. Well, you know where I put my money? Where? Bitcoin. What's Bitcoin? Bitcoin is the first decentralized digital cryptocurrency that works without a central bank. Well, that sounds interesting. Yeah, and it's so simple to use. Transactions take place through the use of cryptography and are verified by network nodes and recorded in an immutable public distributed ledger called a blockchain. What could be simpler than that? Nothing, it sounds great. Right, so is it like investing in stocks? Kind of, but not at all. Well, I'm on board. Really? Because I have so many more questions. Not me. <laughs> Where can I get one of these Bitcoins? Can I buy one at my local bank? Of course not. What a dumb question. I thought it was valid. No, it was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Bitcoins aren't like regular currency. They're mined. In a physical mine, like gold? That's ridiculous. Bitcoins are mined on computers using the SHA-256 hashing algorithm, creating 12.5 Bitcoins per block. Uh-huh. That is until mid-2020. Uh-huh. And then afterwards, 6.25 Bitcoins per block for four years until the next halving. Wait, are we still talking about money? Cryptocurrency. This sounds so simple. Shut up, Margaret. There's no way you understood all of that. Okay. So how much do one of these Bitcoins cost? $17,000. $17,000? That's insane. Sounds like a bargain. Ugh. And how do you keep track of these things' values? Just check the internet. So far today, its value has gone up $1,000. Oh, and now it's down $800, and now it's up $500. Sounds like you can't lose. <laughs> you absolutely can, Margaret. How do I buy Bitcoins? It's easy. Just go online and give them your credit card number. Give who your credit card number? Bitcoin. And then let the internet do what it does. What does it do exactly? It Bitcoins. Here's my credit card. No! So who started Bitcoin? We think it was Satoshi Nakamoto. Who is that? No one really knows. He sounds cute. <laughs> Margaret, I swear to God. And Bitcoin is the only cryptocurrency I trust with my kids' college fund. That's smart investing. That's bad crazy. Oh, now it's down to $3. Easy come, easy go. <laughs> <laughs> This message brought to you by the stock market. Gamble with your retirement the old fashioned way. As you already know, cryptocurrency and blockchain are set to become one of the largest disruptive technologies in the world. As expected, the sector has seen immense startup growth and investor interest. But as we continue, to witness successes in fundraising, initial coin offerings, and application growth in blockchain technology, a worrying trend also comes to light. The extremely high gender inequality in the sector. According to an article I read in Forbes.com, only 5-7% to of all cryptocurrency users are women, making the industry a highly male-dominated one. This extends to every avenue of blockchain and cryptocurrency, proven by a brief look at the related statistics. In 2017, investors in Bitcoin witnessed wealth creation of approximately 85 billion US dollars. Only 5 billion US dollars, or a mere 5.88%. Of this was obtained by women. 90% of Bitcoin users are men. When this group is expanded, it is seen that only a mere 1.76% of the entire Bitcoin community are women. While it is common knowledge that uh, the tech industry has always had a lack of women, 
Cryptocurrency seems to have male-dominated right from its roots. Its earliest adopters primarily included male PC gamers and cyberpunk community members. In fact, uh, cryptocurrencies gained popularity through websites, forums, and apps like Reddit and 4chan, which are also constituted primarily of male users. Why do you think the problem persists? Apparently because of its origins of... Uh, being male dominated the public perception of crypto assets and blockchain software continues to be that of an industry that is unappealing and even unenviable for women so basically women are not into that unfortunately at the same time cryptocurrencies and blockchain are strongly driven by coders a profession that uh, is more often than not considered to be male driven this furthers the existing imbalance in gender equality in blockchain network it could be claimed that uh, women find themselves discouraged from entering the industry due to their perceived aversion to risk this supposed aversion could be further corroborated by scandals related to bitcoin in its earliest stages including the purchase of illegal drugs and the loss of 450 billion US dollars worth of Bitcoin after the collapse of Mt. Gox exchange. You might be wondering, what is this risk aversion, Vanessa? Well, risk aversion is the behavior of humans, okay, when exposed to uncertainty in attempting to lower that uncertainty. For example, okay, Jennifer might choose to put her money into a bank account with a low but guaranteed interest rate rather than into a stock or cryptocurrency that may have high expected returns but also involves a chance of losing value okay so hope that's clear in addition anna drebber an economics professor at the stockholm school of economics studies differences in risk tolerance between men and women she cites one study that showed a 64 percent probability that a random man would be prepared to take more risk than a random woman yet yeah, that alone is not enough to account for the difference between male and female Bitcoin investors. Although lack of uh, gender diversity is not a new problem in the tech and finance sectors, there have been developments in cryptocurrency that are uh, changing this imbalance. One such advancement in the field of blockchain funding is the recently popularized ICO or uh, initial coin offering. And you might be wondering, how are these ICOs help women join the blockchain network? Well. ICOs are an example of how women can successfully overcome the gender bias in the crypto industry. The main reason for ICOs to come around was the limitation that people face in venture capital funding. In 2016, only 4.94% of all successful venture capital fundraisers involved startups that were led by women. On average, these deals received 4.5 million US dollars of funding which is less than 50% of the 10.9 million US dollars per deal average achieved by startups led by men. Approximately 15.8% of startups around the world have women in their founding teams. A similar trend can be seen on the investment side where women make up only a reported 6% of venture capital firm partners. Now your big question might be, how can we increase women participation in cryptocurrency? I personally think that it will definitely start from parenting, educating your own child if you've got one, or in schools. I think that informative campaigns targeted towards young girls in schools will nurture their interest in cryptocurrencies and blockchain from a young age. This would also increase the amount of knowledge, insight, and practice that uh, young girls get on the topic of financial management. As we all know, gender disparity is not new, but I feel that if, as a woman, you believe you have something of value to add, then you need to simply go for it. If you feel, you know, financially independent or that you have economic independence, it gives you a tremendous sense of confidence and that just gives you a reason to endure and pursue a professional career, whatever that is. Women who take on big risks are the ones who make it. And you will see it starts from self-belief and self-confidence and everyone has it in ourselves. It all just starts with uh, 
taking on a challenge. Like for example, are you willing to own a challenge? Are you willing to solve a problem? If you can solve that problem, then I think you will realize what you are capable of doing. For as long as you keep taking instructions to solve a problem, or if you keep relying to someone to solve a problem, you will never get the sense of confidence. Take ownership. It may not be easy and it may take time, but eventually it is the work you do that will speak for itself and that will attract interests from the right people. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. And yeah, take massive ownership, ladies and uh, gents as well, if you are <laughs> a gent watching this video. As always, if you want to support this channel, give this video a like and share it among your friends and spread the cryptocurrency awareness. Until next time and stay awesome. Bye.